Joining us now on the phone, Lizanne Saunders, Charles Schwab, Chief Investment Strategist. Good to have you with us, uh, Lizanne. Welcome Thank back you. to Overtime. And your, your reaction to this late day story uh, that we could very well see 75 basis points on Wednesday. Yeah, I mean, even before the late day story, there was chatter about it throughout the day. Not so much on Friday in the after, immediate aftermath of the CPI report, but it kind of got some traction today. If you look at various functions that show what market is expecting, we're, we, we, as of midday today, we were sort of at 50-50, whether they would do 50 or 75. It, it's not the MO of the Fed in a very recent era to not telegraph something like this, but we're, we're in very unique times, so uh, neither decision tomorrow, 50 or 75, frankly, would surprise me. Well, what would it mean to the market, though? Let, let's just say, right, market's expecting 50. If it got 75, what would happen? That's a really good question. I mean, the, the honest answer is uh, I don't know. I, I think there's probably participants that are gunning for 75 to sort of take the medicine and get it over more quickly, but I think the surprise factor um, would be unsettling. So I think it depends on your perspective. Uh, I, the, again, it, it does go a bit off script for the Fed to do that. And so I think it probably leans toward the more unsettling end of the, of the spectrum. Yeah, I mean, we got a good gut punch on Friday, and it's sort of got another uppercut today. Um, are we going over uh, on our back here in the market, or, or what do you think this tells us this couple of days leading into a Fed meeting? You see where rates have gone. How does it make you feel about the environment overall? So I think we have yet to um, head into what may be uh, the third, let's hope, final phase of this bear market, with the first phase being a reflection of the Fed moving toward tighter monetary policy, tightening financial conditions, and that goes back to the latter part of last year. And then phase two, I think, was accurately reflecting the slowdown we've already seen in the economy with a contraction in Q1 and, you know, barely stall speed in, uh, in Q2 based on estimates. Uh, I'm not sure yet we have had the phase that reflects um, the weakness likely to come in profits and profit margins. I also think what's important as it relates to the Fed meeting is not just what they do, 50 or 75, but obviously the commentary from uh, Powell and whether he continues to sort of support the idea that a recession may be what is necessary in order to break the back of this inflation problem and probably address more directly that they actively need to weaken the labor market. And I think they're going yep. to be pressed for more specificity on that front. You, you um, and the Schwab folks obviously have a decade's worth of experience in speaking directly to the individual investor. So I guess at a time where the 60-40 portfolio has kind of been turned on its head, or at least it feels like it hasn't delivered for you what you hoped it would, given the upset in the market, what does the right balance look like to you today? What, what, what would you tell people? So I think there's obviously more um, specificity that can occur from an asset allocation standpoint, even for smaller individual investors than just a standard 60-40 mix. And even if you are talking about the 60-40 mix, there's strategies that can be employed both on the 60 side and equities on the 40 side, active strategies on the fixed income side, actually how you structure the fixed income portion relative to duration and Laddering. So I think sometimes the analysis is a bit too simplistic when the ability to take a more sophisticated approach to asset allocation, not to mention other asset classes in the mix, commodities or, or real estate. And yes, everything has gotten hurt. But um, I think there's a reason that Active is having one of the best years in relative terms because the playing field is not as biased toward passive over active, and there's active strategies that can be employed both on the equity side and on the fixed income side. I gotcha. I know you made special time for us. I'm grateful for your time today, Lizanne. Thank you. My pleasure. Thanks, Scott.